The plan worked far better than expected. The capitulation of Makeup turned into a wave of bad morale across the front line. With the promise of amnesty extended to all Soviet soldiers, almost all of them chose to lay down their weapons rather than endure more attacks. We have taken possession of Makeup and we will be stationing forces there today. You, however, are going to have to take a detour getting there. The Soviets have ceased their occupation of Georgia and have split their forces. Some are crossing the mountains back into Soviet territory, the rest are on board a naval convoy heading for Sochi Air Base. They have clearly identified the airbase as our next target and wish to reinforce it with loyal troops who will not yield once given official permission to do so. Naturally, we cannot allow this to proceed. Thunder 1 flight will launch at once, carrying C-802K anti-ship missiles and C-701 TV guided missiles. Your target will be the four corvettes escorting the convoy. At least two of the vessels need to be destroyed to open a path for bolt flight. You will be escorted by Thunder 2 flight and recover at Maycop Air Base. Bolt flight have been retrofitted with a mix of Russian and Chinese missiles and will be engaging the convoy itself. They will be escorted by 155 flight. They will launch 15 minutes after you do. 165 flight will be conducting a fighter sweep ahead of the formation in order to engage as many threats as possible before they can interfere with your operation. Furthermore, we have moved a heavy coastal missile battery armed with the P-15 turret close to the front from a position where it can engage the convoy. This battery will do the most damage once the escorts have been neutralized. It is unclear if Sochi have received any replacement aircraft, but considering the airport's vulnerable position, we suspect they may only have second-line quality airplanes. The enemy still maintain a full squadron of Su-27 flankers at Gudara Air Base. It is possible the enemy will have AWACS support. Thunder Flight, proceed on mission. Bolt Flight will follow in 15 minutes. Copy Beer Cub, we will proceed on mission. Entering data coverage and locking it in. Checking the list and checking it twice. Let's hope the flight mechanics have been nice. Also, data link is channel 119. We don't need to listen to the master warning. And there we go. Locked up in and ready to go. We'll just talk to ATC. Checking control surfaces. Clear taxi runway two two. Flaps down. Looks like the foxhounds are already on their way. Good. They'll be our fighter escort for this mission and they are going to be useful. I don't think the Soviets have anything that can engage at the range that the foxhounds can. They got a couple of fox bats, sure, but uh, those missiles are older and... Well, I do trust the fox bats ability to keep us safe at any rate. Not going to uh, miss Anapa though, this base is starting to get a little bit overcrowded. 
And that is a problem. Acknowledged, Anapa. We will climb 300 at QFE 394. Bye and thanks for everything. We will not be coming back in the near future. Wheels up. Altitude, altitude, altitude. Flaps up. Reduction in speed and set course for waypoint zero one. We will not be climbing very high today, rather we will try to keep our altitude around nine to ten thousand. We are closing on the convoy, we are fenced in, anti-ship missiles are powered and ready, TV guided missiles still has to align. We will open the engagement with the anti-ship missiles and we will launch them in pairs in order to uh, hopefully score a kill on the escort. I'm also going to detach my wingman so he can engage on his own. We should be in range for the missiles now. Shooter, bruiser, times two! Anti-ship missiles are away. Target is at about 25 nautiles away, so we should hopefully spot it soon. We'll switch to the TV guided and make sure it's ready to deploy. It's online. We estimate the target length at about 45 meters. Now, Thunder 2 has to do a stellar job of watching our backs, because right now we are totally heads down in the cockpit. Meaning we will not have any situational awareness required to handle any sort of air targets for the moment. The convoy should be dead ahead. There, I can see it. We are going to wait until we can s safely predict the results of our... Looks like the escorts are in formation then. We'll see what we can do to change that. I can see our missiles running in down below. Our wingman's missiles are the ones to the left. Those are the ones that are in a very unstructured formation, as it were. While ours are the ones traveling in the duo. We'll slow down a bit, keep our distance, and prepare for the deployment of the C-702 missile.
Hopefully the enemy won't shoot down too many of our missiles because I would very much like them to actually engage the target they're supposed to hit. I think mine are going for an escort. Yep. Confirmed. My missiles have destroyed an escort ship. Number two hit the target at the head of the convoy, but most likely not an escort craft. We still need to try and clear a path of bolt flight, so... I'll just simply have to try and predict whatever he's going to aim his missiles at. But it might be that he tried to fire at the already damaged ship there. Uh, in fact, we are going to launch our TV guided missiles with an interval of 0 0.3. And we are going to aim them at the other escort. The other escort that is currently behind the actual convoy. Locked on target. Shooter, rifle time two. Let's break. We can safely confirm the destruction of at least one of the escorts. Here's hoping that we just doomed another one of them. We scored hits on the escort, but I'm not sure those hits was actually sufficient to sink that ship. Well, there's nothing else to it. We simply have to get out of here and hope that Bolt Flight can finish the job. We did our best with what we had. Setting the course for makeup now. Makeup control, this is Thunder 1 Flight inbound for landing runway 22. Looks like there's still some fires they haven't been able to put out yet. Let's make sure we don't come in as high and hard. And pop the shoot. Yet the Welcome thing. to Makeup Thunder Flight. Park where convenient for now. That sounds like it suits me just fine. We'll grab the first near spot and then we'll grab some hot chow. If I'm going to be honest, I have to say that this mission, while straightforward, it's not really something that I'm proud of. It could have been executed in a far better way. Now, and the problem is that it's very difficult to point at anything that was actually done wrong. Because we flew to the target, the MiG-31s did a good job of keeping the enemy away from us. The shore batteries opened up at the convoy a little bit early, but their warheads were neutralized by the close protection defense. And, uh, l like I said, there's not really much you can actually compl legitimately complain about. The MiGs took a couple of casualties, but 
it's all fine in the end because they managed to win the fight as they should and they even managed to scare away the enemy mainstay and we managed to deploy our anti-ship missiles and not only that but fire them rather synchronized which is actually kind of a neat thing but my missiles went for an escort and the escorts were our target meanwhile my wingman's missiles went for a cargo ship and that is a problem when our job is to take care of the cargo ships sorry the escort ships and uh, so we i tried to use my uh, pv guided missiles against the escorts but the escorts did wasn't faced by that the warhead was simply too small so there wasn't really much else for me to do but just fly to make up and hope that Bolt Flight would make the best of a bad situation. Now, Bolt Flight uh, had just departed with their uh, flanker escort, so we are gonna have a look and see exactly how it went because when they made their attack run, we had already made it to make up. I must admit that there is a part of me that felt like I should have just landed, reloaded on makeup, but fortunately that turned out not to be necessary. Now, the Bolt Flight's opening volley consists of their Chinese missiles, and I mean, this is a pretty hefty salvo, and this is a salvo that the escorts can make softer, or rather, they can, they can soften the blow of it. But they can't stop it. And one of the things that we did well was the fact that one of the escorts that we destroyed was one of the escorts that could have interfered. Now, as you can see, ha this gun could easily have been two, but it doesn't actually matter. There are multiple hits here. With only, only two escort ships and one cargo ship left. And then they fire another salvo so in a way the fact that we didn't accomplish our objectives doesn't really matter because bold flight did